So most of my Sony cameras have the capabilities of accepting CF Express cards. However, I've never really purchased one because of how expensive they were and I really felt I didn't need them because it was really promoted for video. However, in my line of work as a wedding photographer, especially here in the Philippines where we do an on-the-day photo slideshow, it is essential for me to actually transfer my files quickly and efficiently to my laptop so that I don't lose any or so that I don't have any downtime. Prior to this though, I was very happy with my Sony Tough Cards, the 300-299 Sony Tough Cards. However, Lexar sent me their new Class A, this Gold Class CF Express A. It's a 160 gig version and I wanted to see if there is really something behind the hype to CF Express cards. So hi everyone, I'm Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines and welcome to the channel. So by the way, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel and you want to learn more about off-camera flash photography or maybe just photography in general, then this channel is for you. So you might want to consider subscribing and while you're at it, click that notification bell so that you get notified every time I, I upload a new video. And if you want to see most, some of my images, you could always find me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. And of course, full disclosure, as I said earlier, Lexar did send me this card and also the reader. Actually, you know, it's funny because the readers were almost as expensive before as a CF Express card. However, even if they sent me these items, this is not a sponsored video. Therefore, all the thoughts or all the things that I will be discussing today is not from Lexar, but really from my personal opinion. Okay, so I haven't really even opened them. I don't even know how they feel like. So let's just do it live and see how it looks like. Do I have a cutter here? See, I don't even have a cutter. I didn't prepare for an unboxing. I just wanted to make this as real as possible. Okay, so let's try to open this box. I don't want to destroy the box. Um, yeah, I, I don't like destroying stuff. So you know what? Hold on. I'll pause this video because I'll get a cutter. Okay, so this should make things a lot easier. All right, let's see. So let's open this thing up. I've never even felt a CF Express in my hand. So I have here actually the card that I was talking about earlier. This is the Sony Tough card. This is a 300-299 version. It's a 64 gig version. And this is a CF Express. Oh, interesting. Let me see. So this is the Lexar CF Express. This is the gold version. Oh, it's different. It's it actually very it feels very sturdy. It's it's nice. So this is how it compares. This is the size of an SD card. This is the size of a CF Express. Now, what else is the difference here? Well, this is supposed to be three times faster than this one because this one's rated at 300 and this one's rated at at uh, 900. Now, the best way to really test it is to put it inside a card uh, inside my camera. So. My A7 IV can accept the CF Express on slot 1 and I will put the SD card on slot 2. So let me see. Let me format both cards first. So we'll format slot 1 and then we'll format, format slot 2. Okay. So we will actually test this the way I would normally, you know, this is a very non-technical test. What I'll do is I'll set my camera on manual mode and I will set my shutter speed to 1 over 1000. I'll put this at ISO 100 so everything's just going to be black. Or you know what? Let's just put this here. Um, make my ISO to, let's say, as high as possible. Let's just put it on ISO auto. And let's put it on. Here we go. Let's put it on. Continue shooting and we'll make it high, high plus. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to create, to shoot about a burst of how many images. So right now the card, by the way, that I have is the 160 gig version. And I was referring to the price earlier. That's why this one now becomes a at the very least reasonable. The 80 gig version is only 160 USD, the 160 gig version which is what i have now is 315 usd and they have a 320 version which is 700 usd so you know what it's not really that expensive because the sony tough cards that i have the 399 version is not 
far off from the price when it comes to size. So I have here, since this is the 160 gig version, I have 2,379. 2, and for the 60, 64 gig version, I have 917. So we're gonna do some burst. And there you can see how fast it's going. Pretty fast actually. I wonder if you could see it. But basically right now, this is okay. CF Express done, SD done. If you notice, my camera, there, the buffering stops, right? That I can't shoot anymore. And let's try it now. If I don't do simultaneous recording and remove the SD card and just shoot with the CF Express and see if it buffers. Now that's a big difference. It just keeps going. Oh, that's quite impressive. And there's no buffering. It just finished recording. So look at this. This is what? So let's start off with 2059 available and I'll stop maybe at 2000. So that's 59 shots in raw plus JPEG. Oh, that's quite interesting and no buffering. It basically recorded. Very, very interesting. Now let's try it with an SD card only. Okay, SD card, 756. I'll stop at 700 if I can. At 30 images, I already stopped shooting as fast. So let me still stop at 700 so we can see. And now it's buffering. There's about 20 images left to be saved, but still not so bad. Let's try it again. 708, let's go down to 650. Look at that, 18 images, 20 images, and it's already slowing down. Okay, so sheer speed, I think there really is a big difference when it comes to the CF Express card, when it comes to writing on your camera. But now let's see how quickly it actually saves on my laptop. So we will use basically the, um, we will use, sorry, we will use the card, the card reader that they sent. Again, let's open it up. I haven't opened it because one of the reasons that stopped me from buying the CF Express before was that the card reader was so expensive. And this one, when I researched it, it only cost $60 or $65, if I'm not mistaken. So again, first time I'm seeing it. This is a CF Express reader that's USB-C based and also an SD card reader. So we'll probably bo put both SD card and CF Express so we can see how this one works. Let's put it on. Oh, it's a USB-C to USB-A. It's a good thing I have an adapter here. Oh, no. It's got its own adapter. I can just remove it and make it USB-C. Oh, pretty practical. All right. So let's put it in here. Okay. So let's plug in the CF Express. Okay, let's allow that. Let's make a new folder. Test. Um, transfer. Okay, test transfer. Let's take out the SD card. Put it in. And let's put the CF Express to put it in. Okay, so this is the CF Express. This one is the SD card. So let's test it out. So I'm going to transfer now. This is approximately 25 gig. Let's transfer it now. 25 gig will take about less than a minute. Oh, I should actually have my phone and test it with a timer. But you guys will be able to see anyway with the timeline. It takes, it's taking less than a minute to transfer approximately 25 gig using the Lexar card reader also. And let us see how long it will take to transfer this one, which is 17 gig. So there's less files in this one because we did more bursts. So 25 gig compared to 17 gig of transfer. Let's rename this now to once it's done. And there you go. 
almost done and we're done 25 gig this is the cf express now let's transfer from the sd card this is 17 gig and it's gonna take about a minute so 17 gig 17 and a half gig will take about a minute using the sd card 25 gig takes less than a minute using the cf express interesting and that's the real world testing it's not about how fast it it, tra it transfers files in terms of megabits per second but rather how fast it actually transfers in real world situations and for me again as a wedding photographer this is essential and for the price now that lexar is selling these cf express cards they're quite interesting however i don't know how well they will be performing in the real world i don't know how they will hold up to the rigors of wedding photography how many times i can actually save and transfer in this or how it will hold up if it drops that's why i love my sony tough cards because even if i drop them it's a non-issue the cf express cards they do look very durable more durable than the standard sd cards but again i don't have too much information there it's done it's done transferring i don't have too much information to actually say that they are very reliable but you know what i'll take the risk considering that it is not that expensive anymore so once again if you have any questions with regards to this video feel free to leave them in the comment section below and i do hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please do like the video and subscribe to the channel and while you're at it click that notification bell now if you want to see more of my images you can always find me on instagram it's at jiggy alejandrino okay till the next video